two launcher apps from two major brands. This video covers Poco Launcher versus Microsoft Launcher. Both have over 10 million downloads, but Microsoft Launcher was released a couple of years before Poco. Well, numbers don't lie, but a real comparison can give you a decent idea of which one to use. The video is going to take a look at their home screen, app drawer, themes, gestures, and notifications. As we go, we will take a look at the customization options. Starting with the interface, Microsoft Launcher comes with your feed, dock, and Cortana settings, while Poco provides a customized Google search with a few apps on the screen. There is a RAM clean button. The icon's name specifies how much RAM is used. Going back to Microsoft Launcher, your feed is a section which offers news, weather, cards, timelines, app activity and more. App activity and timeline tab is something to check out as it shows you your app activity and continue on PC features. Dock on the other hand is a menu which can open by swiping up from the bottom of the home screen. The screen offers a few apps with system settings. In the widgets menu there is a scrolling effect option to choose one of the scrolling effects in Poco. Microsoft Launcher does not offer scrolling effects customization. Let's take a look at the app drawer. Poco comes with a few unique features. The search bar is on the bottom and the app drawer comes with multiple tabs. All of them already categorized. You can also add or delete new categories in the settings. Furthermore, there is an option to group apps by color. The feature is only visible in the main tab and touching on each color displays that color applications. The first row shows the most used and recent applications but you can disable that in the settings. Meanwhile, Microsoft Launcher shows recent as well as newly installed apps on the top. The launcher may not offer categorized tabs, but it comes with hiding apps feature. The app comes with options to hide applications from the app drawer and search results too. You can also set the passcode to protect those hidden apps. Moving to gestures, gestures have made navigation easy but Poco does not offer them. The app only comes with an option to lock the device on double tap. The other one comes with gestures and it even supports Android 10 gesture features. Let's take a look at what gestures Microsoft Launcher supports and what can we do with those gestures. The launcher supports gestures including touch, home button, swipe up, swipe down and some more shown in the picture. You can open the app drawer, screen lock, search and do other kinds of stuff. Those gestures have made my life easier, not sure if it will do the same for you. Both support numbered and dotted notifications. Microsoft Launcher comes with an extra option to enable or disable notification for each application. So this round goes to Microsoft Launcher. Moving to themes, you get a light and dark theme with both with an option to adjust the transparency. The second one offers to use the system and a separate transparent theme where you can adjust brightness and opacity along with transparency. Poco provides an option to change the transparency in both light and dark themes. So what are some of the rare features which might make a difference? Always there are some unique features in each application which makes it different from other same type applications. Poco Launcher allows you to change the number of applications on each row while you can also adjust the icon size. Contrarily, Microsoft Launcher allows selecting multiple apps in the app drawer, backing up and restoring settings, enabling, disabling, daily being wallpaper, and customize the icons and folders look. So which one is for you? That's a million dollar question. Regarding the features and functionality, I still prefer Microsoft Launcher. Poco is still new and has limited features compared to the other one. Poco believes in simplicity and if you are looking for something simple and easy to use, then Poco is your choice. Microsoft Launcher has extended customization functionalities. If you are looking to personalize your phone as much as possible, then you should go with Microsoft Launcher. Anyway, here is the end of Poco Launcher versus Microsoft Launcher comparison. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped in any way, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.